The Wellness Hour. An in-depth discussion with today's top physicians and medical leaders. And now, your host, Randy Alvarez. You're watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, alternative treatment options proven uh, clearance with the FDA, which is low-level lasers. With us, we have an expert on the topic. In fact, he holds a patent uh, with the Q laser, Larry Lytle. Dr. Lytle, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy, for inviting me. All right, now, uh, big topic, and we're talking about osteoarthritis. We should begin with that this low-level laser uh, has been FDA clearance with uh, for to be effective for osteoarthritis of the hands. Is that's, that correct? That's certainly correct. That's absolutely right. And you are now, we should mention, with the company, this Q Laser, what is your affiliation? Well, basically, I'm the one that owns the patents and named the laser. I don't make them anymore, and I don't okay. sell them, but I own the pa I write the books. That's yeah. right. You know, I've read your book, yeah, by the yeah. way. Fascinating books. Yeah. And, and people need to know that as they're tuning in, this is a real interview. We haven't, uh, there's nothing scripted here. I'm not endorsing you on the program. But I do believe in the technology. I've used it myself. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I go to conferences with medical doctors, and they're looking at low-level lasers mm -hmm. as a treatment option. I mean, it's yeah, now yeah, mainstream. Absolutely. Is that correct? Absolutely. Yes, What's your right. background? Tell us a little bit about <laughs> your background when it comes to low-level lasers. Well, I was a dentist for 35 years, and I practiced various types of dentistry. I was one of the very early cosmetic dentists okay. and also have accreditation in laser dentistry. And I became very interested in the low power. <clears throat> and in, in 1994, I was invited to represent this country in Seoul, Korea, at the Second World Congress in Lasers and Dentistry. And it was there I saw so many of these low-powered instruments out there. Because they're using it for oh. building bone and oh, regenerating absolutely. tissue, absolutely. Sure. et cetera. Okay. Yeah. But yet the results were like not real consistent. All right. And I came back from that meeting, I was pumped, <laughs> I came back from that meeting and I said, I'm going to determine why sometimes low-level laser works and sometimes they don't. In Rapid City, South Dakota, we have the South Dakota School of Mines and Technology, one of the very best engineering schools in the country. I went out, had the head of the department work with me and we now in our 13th model. Now we should mention this uh, low level laser and you also have a PhD in nutrition. Yes, I do. Is that correct? Yes, I do. Now, so you're a health guy. <laughs> kind of somebody call right? me a health nut sometimes, but and that's I all know, right. And I and I know yeah. your age and you look a lot younger. In fact, you act a lot probably 30, 40 years younger than your age, right? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank but you. uh and and you told me you say that you, you feel great because of the laser. I I you believe in that. I do. So, for the use of osteoarthritis, I guess muscle pain, joint pain, things like that. Medical doctors carry this laser in their office. Absolutely. I mean, who's using it now? Well, there are all types of doctors use. There are chiropractors, dentists, uh, alternative care medical doctors. There are naturopathic physicians, homeopathic physicians, and their associates, massage therapists. It, it, there, many, many different people are using it because it works. Okay, uh, it does work. It absolutely works. This is not smoke and mirrors. It works. You know, I told you this. I said, you know, you, you know, and, and I should mention too. I bought the laser, so I, you know, I have one of the lasers. I had a little sciatica from lifting. Mm -hmm. uh, was it, was this close to going to a chiropractor? Okay, I mean, I thought I have to go. Okay, mm -hmm. or I was going to get some kind of an injection. I couldn't function. And uh, you told me something on the phone. It's very funny. You said, if it doesn't work for you, you'll be the first one. That's right. Do you remember you saying That's that? That's right. Anyway, so. The next day, you know, it worked, and, and, and I've been using it ever since, and I think it's fantastic. But um, so you got medical doctors use it, but now you're doing it to where the distribution has changed a little bit? Well, yes, it is. And, you know, our, our approach, Randy, is that in some conditions, you need to use the laser two and three times a day. Okay. And it's very difficult for any patient to get to a medical practitioner, particularly one that owns a laser, two times a day. It's just not feasible. So you can't we, go to the doctor two times you, a day. You can't. They, they, they are, they, they're too busy to see you that often. Many of these doctors, their role is to kind of educate you, to get you started, and then to say, okay, you can get your own laser now. And in fact, our FDA clearance, all of our studies were for over-the-counter, meaning that you as a layperson can buy this without a prescription. You just have okay. to have the arthritis, arthritis diagnosed by a professional, and then once you have it diagnosed that you can apply your own treatment at home in the comfort of your, of your own bedroom or living room. 
Okay, now, and light therapy has been around for a long time. This is different, though. This is a laser, not just light therapy. When you're dealing with, with light therapy, sun is light therapy, of course. Uh, without sun, you wouldn't get vitamin D absorption. Okay. But there are all types of lights made by, uh, by companies, and many of those are called light-emitting diodes, LEDs. And these That's not what this is. No, these are not an LED. Okay. However, there are LEDs in it, but they're not just LEDs. We have lasers combined together in a fashion to make the LEDs more beneficial. And when you combine lasers together, you get a different benefit than when if you have a single laser. Okay. Most of the lasers in the world are single diode lasers. And they've been around for 40, 50 years in Europe, China, uh, in China, Russia, particularly strong in Russia. A uh, lot of research there, but they're using single diode instruments. We're one of the very first to combine diodes together, multiple wavelengths in the same instrument, and that gives us a different benefit than a single diode. Now, to go through FDA clearance, okay, so for hands, and, and if you're just tuning in, we're talking about low-level lasers for the treatment of osteoarthritis. This machine, this Q laser, has been approved for that. I read your book, but it's very complex, and I have a lot of questions about your book. Okay. But um, the, how do you get FDA approval? Well, for, it, for the hands, it, like for we have to, of course, design the study first. One of the good things that happened a few years back when President Bush uh, asked the FDA to be more friendly uh, to the to the people who are doing research, and we were able to get pre-approval for the study. That was a huge thing okay. because we got our study pre-approved before we did it. That saved a lot of a lot of time and money. But then we we followed the the study. We had double-blind placebo control. Like about 100 patients? Yeah, about 100 patients. Okay. And, and of course, I, don't, I guess if you've never had trouble with your hands and couldn't pick up a coffee cup to, or couldn't grip, uh, how, how would you think it would be? I mean, do you have reversals? If, if, you, if you couldn't grip your pen to write a check. I don't want to get off track, but, but do you have patients? Do you have people that have said, oh, my goodness, I couldn't oh, you know, oh, abso- use absolutely. a pen. Now I can't, can't brush my ab- teeth, my ab- hair. Absolutely. Really? Their they hands. can now open a jar, and they couldn't open it before, and they in the can FDA, golf. In the FDA study, okay, so for efficacy, I mean, were they reducing inflammation? I mean, what, what did it do? Well, the, the technical way that it functioned, we first had to identify, according to the Arthritis Foundation, what things constitute arthritis, and certainly it's pain, swelling, uh, loss of range of motion, uh, and inflammation. Okay. Uh, all of those things were reduced, and the least, the least they were reduced was 69% from, from baseline to 85%. What does that mean? That I mean, means compared that, to other... You mean that if you it. have a set of symptoms yeah. and you go from the base up, we had 69% success on up to 85%, and just depending on whether you're talking inflammation or whether you were talking range of motion. I mean, do you have people that couldn't do this? Oh, sure. That could do this? Sure, couldn't pick really? up a pen. Couldn't pick up a pen. You sent me a, a bunch of testimonials, yeah. and and I you know I briefly read through mm-hmm. them, but those are from people that have used the laser successfully. Yes. Okay. And, and so we we had a, an unusually successful study. But how does that compare to like a drug FDA approval? Well. With, it, it, the Do FDA, you have any stats on that? Yeah, the FDA, for example, Vioxx, which is no longer on the market, was FDA approved. And the first 20%, from baseline up to 20%, that's considered placebo. In other words, you could get that just by saying you had a light on there or okay. that you had a sugar pill. That's what placebo means. Now, the I've, I've read where Vioxx only had like a 21.6 or 21.2% success so that means it's 1.2 above placebo. But it was a very large study, so they did get FDA clearance. But and yours was about 80 or 60. Ours was from 69 to 85% baseline. Take away the placebo, to be truly honest, we're 49 to 65% above placebo. You know, with my own sciatica pain, because I was worried, you know, okay, I'm reading the book, maybe it's placebo. Because I'm very skeptical. You know that. I know that. Yeah. I said, I don't know if I, if I could wrap my mind around it, even reading the books. But, but the patients I get that have arthritis pain, they don't have to understand this. I mean, they, they apply it. And how do they do it? How do they do it? Let's talk well, about the hands for a moment. Well, they, they basically, it's pretty simple. That's Turn a heavy it. unit, by the way. People need to yeah. know that. Yeah, it's, it's a well-built unit. You, yeah. We're not recommended, but you could probably drive over it and it wouldn't hurt it. Okay, okay. But you turn it on, and, and basically... 
we always work from the brain down. We're one of the few laser companies that recommends that the brain is what regulates what the muscles to the hand do. Okay. So we flash will, that a little bit at the camera so they know that this light. Let me see that. Okay. Okay. They probably can't see that. Okay. Uh, so you put it on the hands. Yeah. We know we actually start by putting it on the points to the brain here, here, right below the collarbone. All right. And then in the meaty part of the forearm. Okay. And then we apply, then we hooked up, if you would, the, the enhancer probe, which adapts into this. Mm -hmm. And we would put this enhancer probe on the knuckles for 30 seconds each. And that's all we did. And, and, and that penetrates through the bone? The, into the cells? It, it goes all the way through. In fact, this instrument here, uh, this particular Q1000 instrument, laser diodes such as are in that instrument have been studied by Dr. Juanita Andrews at the Uniform Services Center, Bethesda, Maryland, and she has since stated that it's transcranial. It goes all the way through the head. Okay. So if it goes all the way through the head, certainly go through the hand. How soon? Okay, give me some of that. I realize we're, we're talking about anecdotal studies at the moment, but you have a lot of real uh, stories, uh, you know, letters signed by, by patients. How soon? Okay, so somebody with pretty bad arthritis. Well, uh, actually, we have a lot of testimonials, but going back to the study, okay, we had them use the laser every other day for 10 days. The peak benefits were after the fourth use. And they were only using this about three minutes, see. Like three minute cycles, yeah, it automatically minutes, turns three, off. Three minutes and they were done for that day. So they totally used the laser about 12 minutes in eight days and they had peak performance. Now every 10 days we called those people back in and did an evaluation of the way the study was done. And at day 42, we still had 68, nearly 70% of the people still had no pain and no swelling, and they still had full range of motion. So the pain goes away, And too. the laser had not been applied since day eight. Okay. So the pain goes away? Absolutely. Because I don't understand. So it's not heat. No. It, it pushes, and I read your book, like protons into the cell. I mean, does it make the cell, it, it, I mean, it increases cellular energy. Could you give me a dummy down version of what's well, going on? Yeah, I yeah, I'd be happy to. The, the, in, the, in the beginning, there was light. God said there let to be light, and he all saw right. the light and said, that's good. I mean, we all know that story. And then, so everything must come from light. And then about 65 years before Christ, uh, there was some Greek philosophers theorized the atom. And they said the atom is a positive charge and a negative charge. And that this atom then it composes everything of mass. So atoms must compose all of you and all of me and all this table. Okay. Every, all the vitamins you take, atoms must compose that. Now, if we go one simple step further, really, right. am I okay with that? It's okay. It's going over my head a little bit, but okay. okay. But I think, you're, I think you believe what you're telling me. So <laughs> okay. Because I know you're quoting Einstein in your book and everything else, yeah. but, but keep going. Keep okay. Going. I, I want to make it simple, but... It, it, all of everybody that's watching this show must know about acid and alkaline. Okay. They must know pH. They studied it in ninth grade, okay, I guess. Okay, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So they must know pH stands for potential hydrogen. So when you lose an electron off from the hydrogen atom, you have a hydrogen ion, and that's acidic. Okay. All disease is acidic. Your, your so sciatica pushes, was acidic. So what does this do? This pushes... Puts electrons back. Into the... Puts electrons back, clear yeah. through to all the cells, the trillions of cells that have lost their electrons at the subcellular level, the atomic level, it puts electrons back. You know, I never told you this, but uh, nine years ago, in my first, mm -hmm. my, my, one of my first interviews, a big pain center in, uh, in, in Palm Springs, California, mm -hmm. medical doctor, and uh, he was using the low-level lasers mm -hmm. purely to treat pain. Yeah. And I remember it was a it, it was about three thousand bucks, and you went in there once a week for eight minutes, mm -hmm. and these people you know were were on these one year programs, yeah. and uh, but he said Randy goes if I talk about it on TV people are going to think I'm crazy because they can't <laughs> yeah. see it. it's like acupuncture it's right is it like that this in a way well th th that, let me put it this way because uh, he said it worked I mean it's and how I'm did the radio waves get in this room. Did you have to have the door open or the window open to get the radio waves in here? Of course not. 
they come through the wall. Okay. So we're dealing we're dealing of waves. Everything in the universe is a little squiggly wave. Do you know? I mean, so you know medical doctors that are using this? Oh, absolutely. With great results. I, I there I've got a I've got a whole file here, if of uh, and and many of these in this file are medical doctors telling about the results that they. They have can gotten. go to your website to get. Oh, absolutely. To look at these. You can go on the website, doctor uh, www.drlytle.com. And you can read all. I'll these. have it at the bottom of the screen. You can read all of these. So for the for the hands, okay. So uh, a, a person at home, severe arthritis, osteoarthritis, mm-hmm. they apply it to the hands, a little bit on the brain, like you yep. say, and uh, and because they're doing it at home, they could do it two or three times a day, as often as they need it. Again, the way I teach, Randy, is that it, it, if you don't have a headache, you don't need to take an aspirin. So if you're, everything is fine, your hands are moving fine, you don't need to apply the laser. Now, my mother, I haven't used this on my mother, and I'm dying to use it on my mother just to try to test this mm-hmm. out, okay? Because I'm still skeptical. But she seems to have a bit of a locked situation. You're saying some of that can go away? Oh, sure. That can go away. That will go away many times overnight. Really? But remember to, to apply the laser from the brain down. So it's got to go here, here, here. Below the collarbone. I, I, I see it. Actually, you yeah, outlined yeah, that here. Yeah, it's out, it's on page 36 and 37 in that manual. You'll see exactly where to apply this instrument. Okay. Yeah. Now, there's other... La- because I, I said this. You know, who's the competition? And you told me off camera. You said, well, they don't have the combination of wavelengths that we do. But there's other FDA clearances for shoulder with these low-level lasers. That's true. And where else? Um, carpal tunnel. Carpal Back, tunnel. I, they, they both the... Carpal tunnel and the myofascial pain of the shoulder were FDA cleared, I'm going to say, 10, 11 years ago. The, the study on the So carpal- this can also be used for those areas. Oh, sure, sure. This, uh, the, the carpal tunnel study was done at uh, like Ford Motor Company in Detroit uh, by, by a single wavelength instrument that is the same wavelength as in this, one, this particular d- probe here. So they were using a single wave. And then the next study was done on the myofascial pain of the shoulder, and they were using this wavelength. So that wavelength, and by the way, that hooks to the other one, it's just very powerful. It well, just makes it more powerful. It, it is It is more powerful. Is it watts? It, I mean, what is it? What is it's, it? It's actually, you measure the laser actually in milliwatts of power. Okay. And, and the, the this is probably not important to your viewers, but okay. but the the uh, you, the wavelength is called nanometers, one one thousandth of a millimeter, and that designs whether it's a colored light that you can see, or whether it's infrared and you can't see it. This particular six hundred and sixty nanometer one, you can see it, but you cannot see the eight hundred and eight nanometer. Now both of these wavelengths have different purposes. Around the world, they've been made for fifty years. And these single wavelengths, we know that the red light is shallow and the infrared light goes deeper. Okay. So one laser won't do it all. That's why we have a red. It's like three, though. I yeah. mean, you have those but two. Now, you have now that. we come to the kind of the miracle one. This one has okay. both the red and the infrared in it, but it's very subtle. It's about the same energy level that you might get if you're a yogi sitting on a high mountain in Tibet. Okay. Very subtle. And it resonates with the body. These guys stimulate. This stimulates. This stimulates. This resonates. And a rule of thumb, and just a rule of thumb, is that's why all lasers are not created equal. You you don't want to stimulate the belly of a muscle. Okay. Some of some of your viewers may have remembered this in grade school when you stimulate a frog's leg and watch it twitch. Yeah. You don't want muscles. So to you twitch. want more of a calming. You'd absolutely. For that. You want to resonate, to calm. And that's what this does, and it does it in osteoarthritis. So your circle of friends, by the way, uh-huh. none of them have arthritis or symptoms of arthritis? None that, none you, that use the laser. Really? I have friends that don't use it, by the Has way. It ever, I mean, is it safe, though? What about safety? Well, it is as safe as a barcode checkout, particularly this particular laser here, the Q1000 is as safe as a barcode checkout or as safe as the laser printers that you print the print on this paper with, or it's as safe as the the diodes that are... So is it transferring information into the... It is. It is. Because, for example, you you know, in your book you outlined, it was very very interesting. 
So, and by the way, if you're just tuning in, we're talking about alternative therapies that have been FDA cleared for, for the treatment of our osteoarthritis of the hands. Uh, here we have PhD, Dr. Lytle holds a patent on this laser, on this uh, Q laser. But you said that when you, when you go to a grocery store and, and you, t- you check out, it, that information it's sending on that, that little uh, laser is, is how many, the inventory, uh, you know, how many are in stock, what the cost is. Uh, yeah. So is this giving information to the cells? In fact, I'm not letting a big secret out, but the diodes in here are the same diodes that are in your barcode checkout. It's okay. the way we use them. It's the brains, the, the the brains in here that use them different way. Like you can take that same little diode that checks your groceries out, and now you can put it in a laser printer and print print because you're asking it to carry different information. So this is carrying like a he- healing information. Yeah, or something? carrying electrons. Electrons. So electrons going into the cells, making them better. Put the cell back to, again when you have at the atomic level. I got to keep hammering this so we get it through. Okay. But at the atomic level, all cells are made of atoms. And when the atom loses its electron, it alters the cell. Put the electron back, the cell is now we should, changed. Okay, we should mention something. Okay, so my uh, production manager okay. was a film degree. Prior to coming on, he had this headache. And you did a minute and a half thing with the laser. Yeah, I, did a kind of, I did a couple of them. I, you did I turned them on, on. Double whammy here. On the, on the same frequency as the brain. We know what's gone. Frequency. Phil, it's still gone by any chance? He just nodded yes, it's still so gone. So he had a pain. We measure pain, by the way. So all, migraines, things like that. Uh, I know this is off topic. We're talking about osteoarthritis. Well, uh, uh, any pain can be controlled when you put the frequency of the cells that where the pain is at back in harmony with the body. Okay. That's what we do. I should mention, you know, the 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 uh, the, the biggest society of integrative medicine mm-hmm. doctors. Uh, I, you know, at their meetings, energy medicine mm-hmm. is now a module, mm-hmm. and and energy medicine, I guess, defined. By the way, in your book, I was reading. So, <laughs> chiropractic, yeah. uh, acupuncture. This is all about energy, right? Mm-hmm. And so, this just kind of focuses it in, shoots it in the area. And uh, but some people don't care how it works, the mechanism, yeah, right? Most lay people. Most don't. people don't. No, they just want to know if it works. Because it is a complex. I mean, this book right here, I mean, it's very scientific. Well, and I, and I can't say that I, I quite understood all of it. But uh, I mean, is it for the lay person? It it is, and again, but it doesn't come with the machine. This is a that that book. book doesn't come with the machine. The one that most of the distributors uh, distribute that manual uh, th- that shows how to use the laser on various different parts of the body. That I wrote that manual. The distributors uh, you sell the laser for FDA cleared osteoarthritis, hoping that if you're smart enough to use it on your wrist, you would also be smart enough to use it on the arthritis in your knee. Well, I mean, people with osteoarthritis, don't they have it in other areas? Sure. It's sure. usually rarely just in the hands. Sure. I, I, can, I, can, tell you, I can tell you about Ben. Uh, ben, when I first saw Ben, he came in and he, his hands were such that he couldn't hold a pen, and he was walking with a walker. He could not get up one flight of stairs with without excruciating pain. Okay. Twenty four hours a day. Within less than two weeks' time, he had full f- range of motion of his really? hands. And I got his testimonial here that, that if they want to read it, just go on the Internet and read These aren't paid testimonials? <laughs> no, of course not. Okay. Of course not. I mean, they're, they, they, these are testimonials from the heart of people that said thank you. But Ben now walks without a walker. Uh, he, he's, I don't know how, 78, and he gets around fine. He drives his own car. He can put his key in his own car and turn it on. So this is a quality of life. I mean, obviously, if you can't use your hands... Pretty, 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 pretty bad, bad deal. <laughs> it's a pretty bad deal, you know. How many people suffer, by the way, osteoarthritis of the hands? Do you know any numbers uh, yeah. on that? Twenty, depending on what level you're talking about, twenty to forty million Americans. Okay. Now that doesn't, you know, all at one time. And, and almost all of them, that when it's bad, they go on drugs. Absolutely. Well, you're and a PhD nutritionist, also, and a scientist, but. Are you saying you could avoid, are, are there any people that were on drugs that were off drugs oh, now because oh, of that laser? Sure, sure. Really? Sure. I, I, I don't take any drugs anymore of any nature. I don't take anything for a headache. Well, your projection manager here won't need one either yeah. you know, for his headache. Truly, if you find something that works quickly with no side effects, why would you take a drug? 
So is this defined as energy medicine? Uh, you know, I know the you know the uh, integrative medicine. They call it energy medicine. I mean, they, you know, doctors from all over the country. And I called one by the way to check on you. I said, <laughs> "What do you think about this? You know, these low-level lasers?" And they go, "Yeah, we're going to add." And I've even told you this. They said, "We're going to add a module about this low-level laser because there's something to it. Mm -hmm. The problem is selling it to the patients." That's what she says. She says the tough part is you know because it's like acupuncture. That was considered crazy just 15, 20 years ago, unless you were, you know, uh, you know, um, you know, especially in the United States. I mean, people didn't get it. Now it's mainstream. But Randy, I don't have to sell you, do I? Because I, you, well, it worked. You, you right. put the if, if it works, you don't have to sell. You see, when something works, there's no such a thing as sell. I hope you didn't do some placebo <laughs> thing on me because you said if it doesn't work for you, you're the first one it does, and, and it went away. My sciatica was gone. Well, what about the headache? You think that I mean, I, we can't all be? Perceived. I don't really get headaches. But, <laughs> I mean, but, I'm about your. But I have you. But I have used it on other areas, mm -hmm. and and on my kids, and they're going, and, and my son with a nasal situation. He says he can breathe better, mm -hmm. but uh, very very interesting. We're gonna take a quick break. We come back. We're talking about osteoarthritis. Uh, FDA uh, approved or cleared for the treatment of osteoarthritis of the hands. The Q laser now, uh, and, and so they you have distributors. All you can go to a medical doctor that has one, or, or a chiropractor, uh, somebody with a license, or you can buy these directly for yourself or you, in-home. You, you can. You might well first have it introduced by a, one of your medical practitioners that, that believes in energy medicine. Uh, you might well first see it there. So it's but, a low-level laser. Then, goes, use it your, then get your own and use it at home. Because apply it directly to the hands, and that's where, it. Follow the directions. You, you put it in just a... It is easy to use. It's very to. simple to use. Six-year-old kids can learn to use it. In fact, that manual, the Q-Laser User's Manual, is not written to insult anybody, but it's written that anybody that reads English at the sixth to eighth grade level can use this instrument the day they take it home. Low back pain? Low, you well, say. yeah. I mean, yeah. back pain, neck sure, pain? Sure, 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 all the above. The, Just pain throughout the body. But now, are you working on any other study? Because right now, you know, look, when, when you get FDA clearance to be effective, on osteoarthritis of the hands, uh, when are you going to get the knee and the shoulder and all the other stuff? Is that just a well, long well, process? Well, we're going to probably have to depend on a little bit of the intelligence of, of the people to realize okay. if we got osteoarthritis clearance for the hand, that they're going to be smart enough to use it on arthritis of the elbow and the shoulder and the knee. And you offer financing for this because, I mean, this is a serious product. You it, offer it, financing for people. Sure, sure. So they contact a distributor, yeah. and the distributor will also answer the other questions. The, yeah, the, there's a, the distributors are there. This is like a show-and-tell instrument. Okay. This is not something you'd probably buy on a, on a just off of a infomercial. Yeah. You'd like to see how it works. You'd like to put your hands on it and touch it, turn it on, and see just like your production manager did here today how it solved his headache in let in a minute and a half. It's hard to believe. It's hard yeah. to believe. But I did try it on somebody with a migraine, and it got rid of their migraine. Okay. But see, but because I'm skeptical, you know, respectfully, I don't know if they're just making it up. You know. <laughs> you think because it hasn't enough? happened on me, but I, but my leg pain did go. Maybe one of your employees they thought you had to. They had to. They're say trying that. to be nice. <laughs> be nice. To one you. person, the gal up front, yeah. Yeah. She, uh, she was not feeling. She wasn't in a good mood. Okay, I read your book. I said, try it. You know, try it on the brain. Okay. And so she felt happier. She goes, and that night she goes, I had more energy than ever. Mm -hmm. So the same kind of thing you're putting in protons or yeah. so, this photon wave or what kind of a wave is it again? It's a photon, but okay. you're, the photon, which is just a squiggly wave of light, and the way we have de used the waves, we combine them together to form what's called a soliton wave. That doesn't mean anything to most people, but when you combine waves together, you get different results than if you have a single wave. Okay, and, and you this have, is one of the few. You have settings. You have several settings. We also, have, they can go to a, a website and download, download additional they settings. They can. They can. So this has a little uh, a memory chip. Let me see one of those. So, so it has uh, a little a little card in here. Yeah. There's even a veterinary yeah. use. Is that right? Yeah. There. There. I first started making these for, for veterinarian use, uh, and then as we realized that if they worked on animals, how did they work? Well, since they work at the cell level. Animals have cells just Any like... Any horse trainers using these? Oh, absolutely. Veterinarians are oh, using absolutely. these? absolutely. Really? Tamara, Dr. Tamara Shear, I, I lectured at the Veterinarian Association meeting like four or five years ago. Two years ago, she was Veterinarian of the Year. All she does is specialize in treating animals, small animals, okay. with this instrument. Veterinary of the Year. 
Yeah. Okay, that okay. earlier, Dr. Tamara. He's using this on, on animals. Absolutely. Very interesting. We're going to take a quick break. Okay. You're watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. We're here with Dr. Lytle, and uh, we're discussing low-level lasers and the treatment, FDA clearance for osteoarthritis of the hands, but of course could be used for other areas of the body. We'll be right back. You are watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. We're talking about new treatment options uh, for and, and breakthroughs in the treatment of osteoarthritis of the hands. Uh, with us, we have Dr. Lila. He's an expert on the topic of low-level lasers for the hands. Uh, this has been FDA approved or cleared to be uh, efficacious or effective for the hands. And uh, you say that these patients are getting uh, great results. Yes. The, the, our study showed that they had a improvement of anywhere from 69 to 85 percent success from baseline. The FDA requires that you take 20 percent off of that for possible placebo. Okay. So when we took the placebo off, we still had 49 uh, to 65 percent success, which was way, way higher than any drug uh, therapy that's ever been approved for uh, osteoarthritis of the hand, such as Vioxx, which has been removed reportedly because it caused a lot of heart and liver damage. Uh, we also have a similar study that's underway right now on type 2 diabetes. Uh, Using and, the laser for that? Yes, absolutely. Because of what it does, what, what, what does it make the... Uh... It puts the electrons back at the cellular level. Interesting. And when... when so knees, elbows, what about tennis matter. elbow? Doesn't matter. There are cell, really? There's cells there too, you know? You know the, Is there a reversal, by the way, like a regeneration? We are, things? technically, the FDA has not allowed us to say that we cure uh, osteoarthritis, but I'm telling you the results showed that when we used it for eight, every other day for eight days, we got our peak performance at the eighth day, uh, even though we did it 10 days. Then every 10 days, we checked for range of motion. Okay. And we checked for flexibility, where they could pick their pins up, where they could grip their coffee cup, where they could comb their hair, put their keys in the ignition of their car, whatever they're I doing. I guess this is a big topic, you know, and, and we literally are out of time. So to get the laser, they go to the website. They can find out more information, talk to the distributor, get one of these in-home, uh, or, or they could find a doctor that has one of these in there? Yes. There, we don't actually have a list of doctors to my knowledge, but you can go to drlytle.com, the website, and on the bottom for more information, if you click there, uh, somebody will will send you to the closest site where you can find somebody to demonstrate the laser for you. Okay, and they could get your book. So they your book, get... which is uh, about osteoarthritis. Mm -hmm. You talk about current treatment options, Yes. how many people have it, and, and how this works. So it reduces inflammation. This, this cold laser or low-level low laser. Very quickly. In fact, reduces inflammation in as little as 30 seconds. Really? Yeah. And you're allowed to say those things? I mean, I don't have to put disclaimers all over the... No, I mean, these, this is all, this, these, these are all done by FDA-approved standards. Okay. In other words, we had our study approved first before we, before we did the lasering. And then we did the lasering in four different centers, uh, three of them in this country and one in Turkey. And so it was a very well-balanced study. And when we uncorked the study from the real laser to placebo laser, the results were consistent. Are there other guys, by, by the way, you, you, I, mean, I mean, you're almost 80 years old. We might as well mention that. And you have great health. Thank you. Okay. And, and, but you think it's because of the laser? I sure do. Okay. I mean, as you mentioned, I have a PhD in nutrition, and I used to take like a handful of vitamins. Today, I don't take any. Is that right? I don't know. I don't. Okay, okay. But I use the laser frequently. I carry it with now, me. I, I bought I a laser, but I think I'm still going to take supplements. Okay. You say, not, it'll, uh, you say it'll make the supplements work better. Well, it does because it puts the electrons back at the atomic level of the cell membrane. When you have the proper energy at the cell membrane, nutrients will go across the cell membrane faster and better. Okay. I think they're going to have to read the book, though. I mean, if people want the whole story, read the book on osteoarthritis. Yeah. That's available on the uh, on your on your website or from the distributor. And then they just they order the laser. Yes. And get started a couple times a day at the beginning, maybe. The the the, the instructions again are so simple. I made it literally so that a anybody who reads it to sixth grade level can use this. Instrument. So those wands. So demonstrate without putting the laser on. Just how you would do it without the cords. I realize there's cords and we're we plug the cord here and, and plug in and then just turn this on and this wand would then be aimed at the knuckle. 
Okay. And, and only 30 seconds is enough. It doesn't take very long. Whatever knuckles are bothersome, just aim it for very 30 seconds. Or yeah. you could do it to your elbow, or you could do it to your shoulder. Again, we only studied arthritis of the hand, but keep in mind that the body is a whole. Trillions of cells, they all function together. And to treat just a hand without treating uh, the, the rest of the, the way the brain sees it would be not... So this rejuvenates the brain as well? I'm doing a study on memory and learning as we speak. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's working. Okay, I don't good. take many and notes. And you get that now. fancy case with that too? Oh, sure. Yeah, this, this case. Okay, okay. This case, and you, it holds all the, the cords and everything you need. When you get this from your distributor, you'll get the instruments that you but order. But the majority of the people that own this right now are doctors. They're not the public. I would say we're probably half and half right now. We started out with all doctors. Literally, we had all uh, naturopathic, chiropractors, alternative medical doctors. And then as we realized that it was necessary that they used it more often and when the doctors could see them, that's when I made the decision to take it over the counter. And so now I'd say most of the sales are, are being made direct to the public over the counter, but they're being recommended by the doctors. A doctor, the Hippocratic Oath says, you, you do no harm. This instrument will do no harm. It makes you feel better. Make you feel better. And your hands? Absolutely. Have you ever met somebody that hasn't worked on as far as osteoarthritis? Uh, you I, know, some improvement? I have. Again, when we measure anything, we measure it on a scale of zero to ten. Ten being the worst. And I've never seen anybody that didn't get at least a 50% improvement within the second or third time you used the laser. Is that right? To your knowledge, and you own the, uh, own the patent on this, anybody want their money back after getting one of these? Uh, you'd have to talk to distributors on that, but I, I'm sure all the distributors have their own money back guarantees or whatever. But to my knowledge, I heard one of them say that the biggest request he has is, are there any used ones available? And he said, I have to tell them no. So they must not be getting many back. All right. All right. Well, well good. It's great stuff. You know, you, you know it's uh, so low level laser and they could probably go on the Internet. I mean, because I, I went on the Internet on YouTube. And, and, and Googled low-level laser. Everybody's talking about it. But I mean, can, this is... can I caution a, okay. a viewer just a little bit? You can get lost on the Internet pretty easy, and all lasers are not created equal. Uh, you can read for hours and hours and hours about lasers and, not, and only be talking about a single wavelength instrument that won't do what this instrument does. So really, if you want to, if you want to look, you've got to compare apples to apples. And this instrument is a multi-diode. There are 20 lights and lasers in here. Okay. All 20 of these lights and lasers have a purpose. They're working together in harmony based upon the computer technology behind it. This instrument here, which is kind of like the rest of them on it, has one wavelength. This has 20. Okay. So make sure if you're going to go on the Internet, you compare apples to apples. And acupuncturists are using these now. Now, this is a great instrument for acupuncture. So like little parts of the yep. air, yep. cravings. Yep. I, I did that. I don't know. Oh, you told me. You, you I don't know if it's a placebo. But I'm not hungry. Well, uh, you know what? If, Randy, if it is a placebo, you tell me where you could find a safer placebo okay. that gets results every time. So if it's a placebo, just keep believing that. Just keep doing it okay. and just keep getting the benefits. All right. What better way could, could it be? So if it's placebo, it's a very safe and a very beneficial placebo. But it isn't a placebo. But it, I'll let you think as you think. Okay. And as long as you're, when your sciatica comes back, just use this placebo again. All right. <laughs> well, thank you for coming on. Very thank you, interesting. Randy. Good thank stuff. You. Good for you. Thank Good you. for you. You've been watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. If you would like to see the... This, this, the, the full interview of this, we cut out about uh, pr probably 15, 20 minutes of it. You can go on wellnesshour.com. Just put in low-level laser or Dr. Lytle. You can do it there. And if you'd like to direct a friend to it, you could also uh, have them go to wellnesshour.com and see the, the whole interview. Just put in low-level laser. For now, I wish you could help. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.